Good evening, welcome to our presentation on spaghetti bridges, different types of bridges and how we built our bridge. So first of all is introduction to bridges. Sammy, take it away. First, we have our beam bridges. These consist of vertical members um, with the horizontal beam going straight across there, your simplest type of bridge. Um, and typically you see them in jetties and they can span long, great distances. Next, truss types. Um, these are a beauty. Um, so they've got members in tension and compression and they typically form triangles. You got anything to say about them, Emil? Uh, yeah, yeah, they came about when new materials were discovered that had higher structural properties in terms of tension and compression. And they worked out that they could make these bridges with a lot less materials, cheaper and much stronger than the existing ones at the time. So pretty popular one. Uh, this is a tight arch bridge, and this beauty here is the Sydney Harbour. It's got everything you want in a bridge. It's got arches, it's got the upper cord, it's got piers, abutments, hangers, just a beauty. In a semicircular design. We like semicircles. This is an arch type bridge. Um, Romans are the absolute pioneers of this. Just stones laid up in compressive forces because they're strong in compression yep. and laid out so that they support themselves yes uh also the romans invented cement and it was the ducks nuts still is uh suspension this is the golden state bridge golden gate bridge sammy uh well Go golden state warriors it's on their jersey so good bridge bad team so vertical supports with cables holding up the deck um, very efficient and long spanned. Cable stay bridges, an absolute beauty. Um, and this one is an absolute beauty as well. Sam doesn't really like cable stay, so we'll move on quickly. The chosen one. And boy, oh boy, do we have a beautifully chosen bridge. We've got the Warren Truss. Um, we tried it with verticals and without verticals, and we're about to find out which was better. I'm keen to find out. Procedure. So we, we're talking scissors. We're talking Sally super glue. What else? San Remo spaghetti. Is that three. it? This beauty here is a little apparatus I made with wood. Um, I'm, I measured using a protractor so that when the spaghetti would meet, it would be a 60 degree angle and produce a consistent equilateral triangle um, to reduce inconsistencies in member lengths. Equilateral, that was. Um, so that is what I produced, what we produced, so that... Originally um, it was that way around, um, but yeah. When, when you place it, it places into the train tracks and fits in, slots in perfectly. Um, next. So that's them going into the spots. So they just slot into each one and they're all at the same distance. The triangle's beautifully located with measurement markers on there to make sure they're all the same length and at the same points. Yep. Um, so we've got wood, wood planks and um, clamps and that was just to put enough force on so that all members would stick together and it also stay in square. And it's being supported up off the table because we kept sticking the bridge to the table. Next. That's a nice blank slide, that one. Next. So our final bridge, and we are going to show you an absolute belter of a video. Here we go. So that was our final bridge and it reached a compa um it reached 10 kilograms for um not our strongest weight to strength ratio is that correct that is correct we had more before but um due to maybe putting a central member across the middle of the deck which was pulling the anchor to the side the bridge the the load slipped off and uh, snapped the bridge. But I personally think that that was 
the the favourite of the three bridges. Sam, would you agree? Um, yeah, look, that was one of the sleekest looking bridges I, I've seen, especially with the Warren Truss. But I think even Reza was, was quite impressed with it. I could see his eyes light up as soon as we brought it in. Um, I could see the, the anguish in his face when we let the team down. And we only got 10 kilos, but um, no, we, we, uh, we have high hopes that we might just build the bridge again in, in our own time and uh, get upwards of, of uh, 30 or 40 kilos maybe. Um, and just on a side note, Reza did try and deduct a kilo off there. Quickly corrected when we showed him the footage. Uh, there was no no bad blood between us, and you know we all shook hands at the aim and just uh, walked away. Um, best man won, which in the end wasn't our bridge. So um, also, I would like to talk about our bridge attempt number two. It achieved um, the weight of the bridge was eighty grams, and it also achieved an eight kilogram. Uh, capacity so we feel that that would have won so we uh in our hearts we still won the challenge so cheers to that sammy cheers thanks very much that concludes the fun with the bridges thank you very much guys